Hey, today, Lester Holden, Savannah Guthrie in New York, the moment the entire country has been waiting for after a very close race. NBC News now projects that Joe Biden has won the Keystone State, Pennsylvania, and its 20 electoral votes. And that means we can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden has been elected president of the United States. He is president-elect Joseph Robinette Biden at 77 years old. Uh, Chuck, we'll turn to you. This map is uh, is uh, a real interesting one, not necessarily the path that anyone thought would have unfolded, but here we are. Here we are. Uh, look, we got just enough vote in in order to uh, call Pennsylvania, even if it may slip into a recount. We think there's just the mathematically uh, uh, nearly impossible uh, for the for the uh, for the order of finish to change in Pennsylvania. And when you look at it in many ways, um, Joe Biden won with a the same uh, with a somewhat traditional map in the Midwest. He rebuilt the blue wall um, and narrowly, but he did it. He added two sort of expansion states. It looks like potentially when all said and done with Arizona and Georgia. But the fact is he did it without it. And it proved that four years ago, the biggest important lesson from this election is that 2016 was not an outlier. This is essentially the 2016 election with the Gary Johnson vote going to Joe Biden. And here we are. All right, Andrea. Andrea. I'm thinking of the 32-year quest for the presidency of this man, uh, his resilience in the face of failed attempts in the past, a very slow start, stumbling out of the gate, losing the primaries and caucuses, reclaiming it on Super Tuesday, and taking a centrist message, which will now challenge him. His ability to reach across the aisle will be challenged on the left within the Democratic Party. But the empathy, the fact that he was so policy-directed, which comes from his whole career during COVID, which I think was the biggest story of this closing part of the campaign, his response to the pandemic and to the racial inequality, the protests after George Floyd, really spelled uh, that appeal to suburban women and others in broadening that appeal that Hillary Clinton simply could not reach in the 2016 map. And that spelled victory in a sharp contrast with appealing for unity, for calm, as he has in the last 48 hours. And Casey Hunt is here. Uh, concession is normally the opening to transition. Are we going to see that? Uh, I, I think we're all going to be watching to see what Republicans do here, and they have a real challenge in trying to manage a president who has been ruled, it seems, by his emotions and who has fed into the chaos. So I would expect some Republicans to focus on letting what Chuck mentioned, there's still going to be a, a process that plays out in the states. Obviously, Republicans have talked about legal challenges. I'm going to watch to see how long and how far Republicans are going to be willing to entertain that. Clearly, uh, current President Trump has a lot of support. There were a lot of